Hello, welcome to this video. Today we will try to narrate the last chapter of Geography Insertive Book, Class 9, Population. So start. Can you imagine a world without human beings? Who would have utilized the resources and create a social and cultural environment? The people are important to develop the economy and the society. The people make and use resources and are themselves resources with varying quality. Coal is but a piece of rock until people were able to invent technology to obtain it and make it resource. Natural events like flood or a tsunami become a disaster only when they affect a crowded village or a town. Hence population is the pivotal element in social studies. It is the point of reference from which all other elements are observed and from which they derive significance and meaning. Resources, calamities and disasters are all meaningful only in relation to human beings. Their numbers, distribution, growth and characteristics or qualities provide the basic background for understanding and appreciating all aspects of environment. Human beings are producers and consumers of Earth's resource. Therefore, it is important to know how many people are there in a country, where do they live, how and why their numbers are increasing, and what are their characteristics. The census of India provides us with information regarding the population of our country. We are primarily concerned with three major questions about population. 1. Population, size and distribution. How many people are there and where they are they located? 2. Population growth and process of population change. How has the population growth and change through the time. 3. Characteristics or the qualities of the population. What are their age, sex, composition, literacy level, occupational structure and health conditions? Let's start with population size and distribution. India's population size and distribution by numbers. India's population as on March 2011 stood at 1210.6 million which account for 17.5% of the world's population. This 1.21 billion people are unevenly distributed over our country's vast area of 3.28 million square kilometers, which accounts for 2.4% of the world's area. The 2011 census data revealed that Uttar Pradesh, with a population size of 199 million, is the most populous state of India. Uttar Pradesh accounts for about 16% of the country's population. On the other hand, the Himalayan state of Sikkim has a population of just about 0.6 million and Lakshadweep has only 64,429 people. Almost half of India's population lives in just five states. These are Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Bihar, West Bengal and Andhra Pradesh, Rajasthan. The biggest states in terms of area has only 5.5% of total population in India. India's population distribution by density. Population density provides a better picture of the uneven distribution. Population density is calculated as the number of persons per unit area. India is one of the most densely populated countries of the world. Some fun fact, only Bangladesh and Japan have higher average population densities than India. The population density of India in the year of 2011 was 382% in per square kilometer. This is very firm, 1102% per square kilometer in Bihar to only 7% per square kilometer in Arunachal Pradesh. A study of the figures shows that the pattern of uneven distribution of population densities at the state level. Note the states with population densities below 250% per square kilometer. Rough terrain and unfavorable climate conditions are primarily responsible for sparse population in these areas. Which states have density below 250% per square kilometer? Assam and most of the peninsular states have moderate population densities. Hilly, dissected, and rocky nature of the terrain, moderate to low rainfall, shadow and less fertile soils have influenced population densities in these areas. The northern plains and Kerala in the south have high to very high population densities because of the flat plains with fertile soils and abundant rainfall. Identify the three states of the northern plains with high population densities. Population growth and process of population change. Population is a dynamic phenomenon. The numbers, distribution and composition of the population are constantly changing. This is the influence of the interaction of the three processes, namely birth, death and migration. Population growth. Growth of population refers to the change in the number of inhabitants of a country or territory during a specific period of time. Say during the last 10 years, such a change can be expressed in two ways, in terms of absolute numbers and in terms of percentage change per year. The absolute numbers added each year or decade is the magnitude of increase. It is obtained by simply subtracting the earlier population from the later population which is referred to the absolute increase. The rate or the pace of population increase is the other important aspect. It is studied in percent per annum. E.g. a rate of increase of 2% per annum means that in a even year, there was an increase of 2% for every 100% in the base population. This is referred to as the annual growth rate. India's population has been steadily increasing from 361 million in 1951 
to 1,210 million in 2011. The figures reveal that from 1951 to 1981, the annual rate of population growth was steadily increasing, which explains the rapid increase in population from 361 million in 1951 to 683 million in 1981. Since 1981, however, the rate of growth started declining gradually. During this period, birth rates declined rapidly. Still, 182 million people were added to the population in the 1990s alone. It is essential to realize that India has a very large population. When a low annual rate is applied to a very large population, it yields a large absolute increase. When more than a billion people increase, even at a lower rate, the total number being added becomes very large. India's annual increase in population is large, enough to neutralize effort to conserve the resource endowment and environment. To decline in trend of the growth rate is indeed a positive indicator of the efforts of birth control. Despite that, the total addition to the population base continues to grow, and India may overtake China in 2045 to become the most populous country in the world. Process of population change and growth. There are three main processes of change of population, birth rate, death rate, and migration. The natural increase of population is the difference between birth rates and death rates. Birth rate is the number of live births per thousand person in a year. It is a major component of growth because in India, birth rates have always been higher than death rates. Death rate is the number of deaths per thousand person in a year. The main cause of rate of growth of the Indian population has been the rapid decline in death rates. Till 1980s, high birth rates and declining death rates led to a large difference between birth rates and death rates, resulting in higher rates of population growth. Since 1981, birth rates also have started declining gradually, resulting in a gradual decline in the rate of population growth. What are the reasons for this trend? The third component of population growth is migration. Migration is the movement of people across regions and territories. Migration can be internal within the country or international between the countries. Internal migration does not change the size of the population, but influence the distribution of population within the nation. Migration plays a very significant role in changing the composition and distribution of population. In India, most migrants have been pushed rural to urban areas because of the push factor in rural areas. These are adverse conditions of poverty and unemployment in the rural areas and the pull of the city in terms of increased employment opportunities and better living conditions. Migration is an important determinant of population change. It changes not only the population size but also the population composition of urban and rural population in terms of age and sex composition. In India, the rural urban migration has resulted in a steady increase in percentage of population in cities and towns. The urban population has increased from 17.29 percent of the total population in 1951 to 31.80% in 2011. There has been a significant increase in the number of million plus cities from 35 to 53 in just one decade, 2001 to 2011. Age composition. The age composition of population refers to the number of people in different age groups in a country. It is one of the most basic characteristics of a population. To an important degree, a person's age influences what she, she needs, buys, does, and his her capacity to perform. Consequently, the number and percentage of a population found within the children, working age, and the age group a notable determination of population social and economic structure. Children, generally below 15 years, they are economically unproductive and need to be provided with food, clothing, education, and medical care. Working age, 15 to 59 years, they are economically productive and biologically reproductive. They comprise the working population. Aged, above 59 years, they can be economically provided through the may have retired. They may be working voluntarily, but they are not available for employment through recruitment. The percent of children and the age affect the dependency ratio because these groups are not producers. The proportion of the three groups in India's population is already presented in figure 6.5. Adults 58.7%, aged 6.9%, children 34.4%. Sex ratio. Sex ratio is defined as the number of females per 1000 males in the population. This information is an important social indicator to measure the extent of equality between males and females in a society at a given time. The sex ratio in the country has always remained unfavorable to females. Find out why this is so. Do you know Kerala has a sex ratio of 1,084 females per 1,000 males. Puducherry has 1,038 females for every 1,000 males, while Delhi has only 866 females for 1,000 males, and Haryana has only 877. Literacy rate. Literacy is a very important quality of a population. Obviously, only an informed and educated citizen can make an intelligent choice and undertake research and development projects. Low levels of literacy are a serious obstacle for economic improvement. According to the census of 2011, a person aged 7 years and above who can read and write the understanding any language is treated as literate. There has been a steady improvement in the literacy level in India. The literacy rate in the country as per the census of 2011 is 73%, 80.9% for males and 64.6% for females. Occupational structure. 
the percentage of population that is economically active is an important index of development the distribution of the population according to different type of occupation is referred to as the occupational structure an enormous variety of occupation are found in any country occupation are generally classified as primary secondary and tertiary primary activities include agriculture animal husbandry forestry fishing mining and quarrying secondary activities include manufacturing industry building and construction work tertiary activities include transport communication commerce administration and other service the proportion of people working in different activities varies in developed and developing countries developed nation have a high proportion of people in secondary and tertiary activities developing countries tend to have a higher population of their workforce engaged in primary activities in india about 64% of the population is engaged only in agriculture the proportion of population dependent on secondary and tertiary sectors is about 13 and 20% respectively there has been an occupational shift in favor of secondary and tertiary sectors because of growing industrialization and urbanization in recent times health Health is an important component of population composition, which affects the process of development. Sustained efforts of government programs have registered significant improvement in health condition of the Indian population. Death rates have been declined from 25% per thousand population in 1951 to 7.2 per thousand in 2011, and life expectancy at birth was increased from 36.7 years in 1951 to 67.9 years in 2012. The substantial improvement is the result of many factors including improvement in public health, prevention of infectious disease, and application of modern medical practice in diagnosis and treatment of elements. Despite considerable achievements, the health situation is a matter of major concern for India. The per capita calorie consumption is much below the recommended level and malnutrition afflicts a large percentage of our population. Safe drinking water and basic sanitation amenities are available to only one third of the rural population. These problems need to be tackled through an Appropriate population policy. Adolescent population. The most significant feature of the Indian population is the size of its adolescent population. It constitutes one fifth of the total population to India. Adolescents are generally grouped in the age of 10 to 19 years. They are the most important resource for the future. Nutrition requirements for adolescents are higher than those of a normal child or adult. Poor nutrition can lead to deficiency and stunted growth. But in India, the diet available to adolescents is inadequate in all nutrition. A large number of adolescents girls suffer from anemia. Their problems have so far not received adequate attention in the process of development. The adolescent girls have to be sensitized to the problems they confront. Awareness among them can be improved through the spread of literacy and education. National Population Policy Recognizing that the planning of families would improve individual health and welfare, the Government of India initiated a comprehensive family planning program in 1952. The Family Welfare Program has sought to promote responsible and planned parenthood on a voluntary basis. The National Population Policy 2000 is a culmination of years of planned efforts. The NPP 2000 provides a policy framework for imparting free and compulsory school education up to 14 years of age, reducing infant mortality rate below 30 per thousand live births, achieving universal immunization of children against all vaccine preventable disease, promoting delayed marriage for girls, and making family welfare a people centered program. NPP 2000 and adolescents. NPV 2000 identified adolescents as one of the major sections of the population that need greater attention. Besides nutritional requirements, the policy puts greater emphasis on other important needs of adolescents, including protection from unwanted pregnancies and sexually transmitted diseases. It calls from program that aim towards encouraging delayed marriage and childbearing, education of adolescents about the risk of unprotected sex, making contraceptive service accessible and affordable, providing food supplements, nutritional service, and strengthening legal measures to prevent child marriage. People are the nation's most valuable resource. A well-equated healthy population provides potential power.